Hey everybody. Gonna head to the pharmacy. Go pick up some prescriptions as <coughs> as always. Looks like we got some clouds coming in. Just got done doing a live stream of some kind of congressional hearing thing. Man, those things are so boring. And I always love how these are hearings. The Democrats always try to, uh, don't look over here, look over here. Okay, what is this woman doing? She's just standing there. Oh, the puppy dog. Yeah, I bet they must have said Trump 50 times. They even brought up, brought up uh, Trump's uh, rally in at uh, Wildwood. And it's like, you guys are just nuts. You are absolutely nuts. It's like, well, uh, Trump said this, and Trump, they even had a video of Trump there, and my God, it was the most highly edited video ever. And I just love how the, uh, the smart people in there said, uh, said that, you know, he was just speaking, you know, people you know, say stuff all the time which, you can't hold people 100% responsible for stuff that they uh, say you know, whether you're joking around or you know, doing whatever, and this whole hearing is over that they want the audio tape of the uh, the whole uh, Biden thing, you know, to see if you know Biden's fit to be president. I don't think he is. I even asked asked my wife because she asked me to uh, bring her something. So I had to pause the live stream, well, turn my camera off and go take her what she needed. And she asked me what I was doing. Oh my God, people, don't park clear out next to the fucking sidewalk. Oh, some people nowadays have no consideration for, for anybody, anybody. There's a Jeep there. You'll probably see it when I come back. Part clear out, bumper over the fucking sidewalk. But I, you know, I told her what was going on, and she was like, "If he's not competent to stand trial, then he's not competent to be president." And I'm like, "Exactly." Another weird thing was. They were trying to say that Trump is incompetent to be president, but yet he's competent enough to stand trial. <laughs> and it's like, make up your mind. It just... Oh, it just totally annoys me. Yeah, I gotta go get some more prescriptions. And man, this whole next month, I've got so many doctor's appointments that my wife had to go out and get a whiteboard and me to hang on the wall in my hallway 
to write down everything and the whiteboard is full which is a good thing because my new doctors are doing their damn job not just oh here's your meds we'll uh, see you in six months because that's how my old doctors were doing we'll see you in six months and it's like really I even told one of them, I'm like, hey, you know, I've been feeling like crap for the last several months, not having any energy, and his thing was, uh, well, just be sure you're getting plenty of sleep. And I'm like, bro, no, something's got to be wrong with me. Well, just get plenty of sleep. It's like, are you fucking serious? Just get plenty of sleep. Make make sure you're eating right. Which, oh, it just annoys me. Okay, I'm here, everyone. Let's go in and get this done. Okay, we are back, everyone. They were going to give me somebody else's prescription and um, and I was like well I'm never taking something that came in a box luckily she uh double double checked it because you can instantly see that it was the bag was a lot bigger than my stupid little bag Yeah, you can clearly see that there was a box in there. I don't know what was in it that needed to be in a box, but. Watch out, bird. <laughs> oh my God. The birds around here just, no fear, no fear. <laughs> So here's something that I want all of us to do. And I looked up the price and it's like five bucks. Uh, everybody knows that you're not allowed to wear campaign stuff when you go when you go to go to a boat. Like you're not supposed to wear anything with Trump on it. I've worked up with the American flag on it and they've had problems with that. And sorry there's sound running, I got the air running because, you know, just a little drive up, up here made, uh, made my phone really, really hot. But, so, you can go to Walmart in the men's section and buy colored t-shirts. I own a bunch of them. You can buy a red color t-shirt for five dollars. From extra small to 3XL. So what I'm saying is when it comes time for us to go boat in no November, we all show up with red t-shirts on. They can't say anything because it's just a t-shirt with nothing on it but it will get our point across perfectly just imagine you know there's a hundred people in, in line waiting to uh, boat and 90 of them are wearing red t-shirts And I know red might not be your color, but you can hang it up in a closet 
and save it for the next time we have to boat. Or wear it for Christmas. You know, it's just one of those things where I think it would be an epic thing. And I want everybody to pass that news out there. To show up wearing red. We can be the, uh, the red army. And there's that Jeep parked all the way out there. See it? Front tire sitting on the freaking side, sidewalk. Because I'm a Jeep owner. But yeah, just imagine. You know, everybody showing up wearing a red shirt. The impact that would that wouldn't have. Because there's no way the news or anybody could play it down. You know, if there's, you know, millions of people showing up to a boat with red shirts on. They uh, can't boot us out because it's not political. But man, it would make such a huge impact. So on the uh, topic of my channel mon monetization, they uh, de declined it for reuse content. So I went through and cleaned the hell out of it. And uh, June 5th, I get to uh, re apply for monetization. So hopefully I will get it this time. And it's only the first tier of monetization. <laughs> Meaning that I think I could do memberships and uh, get super chats and, and stuff. And you guys want to know what's messing me up? Do you see the sea of flowering trees here? Just me doing this, going to get my medicine and coming back. Because my whole apartment complex smells like this. And it's literally the whole length of my apartment complex. Oh my god, it messes with my allergies so bad. I mean, yeah, they're beautiful. I don't know what they are. So if you can tell me what they are, I'd greatly appreciate it. And yes, I know my windshield's cracked. <laughs> here, I'm gonna pull pull in here so so you guys can get a a good view of what that is. So if you can tell me what that is, because obviously I am highly allergic to it. And it just happens to run the full length of my apartment complex. So if you see me in a live stream messing with my nose like I just did there, it doesn't make me sneeze, it makes my nose itch. And we are back home. And if you want to know where my studio is, it's right in that window right there. And on that note, everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs>